This is very simple jig, but very useful. I use HMR 15 millimeters to make this jig. Measure and mark HMR. Then, I cut using my ultimate track saw. The size is 90 millimeters times 460 millimeters. I will add star knob M6 on the HMR. Measure and mark 25 millimeters from the edge to make two slots on HMR. Measure and mark the top HMR with size 45 mm and the bottom side is 40 mm. Make the slots using straight bit 6 mm. Then, use trim router to make the slots. I will use M6 bolt on the slots made before. I need to make another slots on HMR to place the bolt. Use straight bit 12 mm to make the slots. Set up the router blade with height 5 mm. Then, use trim router to make the slots. Check using M6 bolt whether the bolt can move smoothly or not. Measure and mark HMR with length 350 millimeters. I cut using my DIY sliding miter saw. Measure and mark HMR cut before with size 45 millimeters and 40 millimeters. Then, I cut using my DIY sliding miter saw.
I take my circular saw. Then, I measure range of the bottom base to the blade. Measure and mark HMR cut before with length 100 mm. Use main base as template on HMRs cut 45 mm. I will make an optional slot for locking the main base's position. Make slot with depth 2 mm. Take main base put it on the slot made before, it's locked perfectly. Measure and mark main base to add screw. Then, drill the mark. Put the screw, and make sure the angle is 90 degrees. Put HMRs cut 40 millimeters. Put it under the main base to give mark. Then, drill the mark using drill bit 6 mm. Take bolt M6 and put it into the hole made before. Put star knob M6 for locking. Give wax on all HMR surface for protection and smooth movement. I make rounded shape on the HMRs cut 45 mm on the right side for easy movement when apply the circular saw. Assemble all parts. Now, I try to cut MDF 18 millimeters. Easy for straight cut, and the result is perfect square. Now, I try again to cut MDF 18 millimeters with width 50 millimeters. The result is perfectly square and precision.